Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>thanks for stopping by Bruce Schwartz from Montreal Quebec Canada we're looking at that asteroid two actually tumbling asteroids the video I posted a few days ago uh, captured on March 12th 2019 here's one of them uh, actually here's the second one we're gonna go see them through uh, with this time a red filter over it uh, also a blue filter and here it is I call it the brain right well, if it's an asteroid, let me tell you, um, it's a very eccentric one, if it is. So we're seeing uh, what looks like objects on top of it. But as we zoom in, and a lot of you told me to zoom in because the objects were very mysterious, we do see some type of square on the surface. And it's interesting that those that square is actually made up of four white objects and the center is... A square um, dark area anyways you'll see it as we zoom up and we're gonna see it fly by we'll see it live red filter blue filter uh, just like NASA when they show the asteroids with the red filter sometimes it does help and of course they say that these asteroids uh, sometimes have ice on them you see uh, or meteors you know sorry dead meteors whatever this object may be it could be a UFO too I'm not going to rule that out, that's for sure. And we can see the lights on it. And when I say the lights, obviously, as this is turning around, it's reflecting. It's very reflective because um, they're metallic objects, asteroids, they say, or, or, and meteors. So as it's tumbling around, it's we're seeing this light reflecting from it. But again, a ve very curious object that you see here as it's turned around um, and paused as it was spiraling around. Um, on the top, you can see a square right there. Imagine one of these asteroids. Um, they say two kilometers and up will be dangerous. And apparently they say, this is all theory, uh, but NASA says that anything under two kilometers would probably burn up into Earth's atmosphere. Could you imagine Earth at 67,000 miles per hour, which is 107,000 kilometers per hour, in its orbit around the sun with a collision of another asteroid coming head on to it so imagine an asteroid at 55,925 miles per hour the speed at which asteroids are moving is also totally dependent on their distance from the Sun that what that is what gives it their speed obviously a large portion of known asteroids are in the orbit in the region between Mars and Jupiter called the asteroid belt due to their distance from the Sun their average orbital velocities range from 38,000 uh, miles an hour to 55,000 miles an hour. Some of the objects in the Kuiper Belt, the asteroid belt, are over 900 kilometers wide. Could you imagine just an astronomical event where only one or two of those objects, big like I just told you, over 900 kilometers will come spiraling to Earth. They say an asteroid over two kilometers, at just two kilometers, it could tragically impact the entire world. So the way NASA and scientists track these asteroids is they to be able to find out their orbits, their trajectory, orbital trajectory, they have to see where it's coming around the corner, right? The sun, when it comes around the sun. And they try to... Uh, situate where it will come back around to be able to find its elliptical path. Really sorry if you guys are hearing a little fan in the background. Imagine my iMac Pro, the fan is going on it. You know, we pay so much for, and I, let me repeat myself, we pay so much for an iMac Pro. Um, I'm just surprised that the fan goes on. But of course, these the computer I have can be zooped up. Look at this. Look at the light we can see on the the asteroid or unidentified flying object. Guys, an unidentified flying object is not a UFO craft. It's 
an object like this flying that we do, do not know what it is. So safest bet to say unidentified flying object. But let me tell you, it's something else to be able to see a spiraling asteroid-like object. Um, it, it was my dream to be able to do so. And I know NASA, I mean, you guys can check it out on Wikipedia, the asteroids. It's the same thing that I'm showing you right here that they show. Um, of course, it's with Hubble, it's closer, etc. Okay, no problem. But no, not that impressive compared to what I can get with a telescope anyway. So it's pretty cool to be able to do it. Just look at it, eh? It looks like a brain. It really does look like a brain. You can see the energy field around it. So, um, it, and this was fast, by the way. It really was fast. You saw in the live footage at the beginning. It really was fast. And, um, you know, I just want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to share this work because, hey, you guys are telling me you can't even share it on Facebook and it's the truth. My family did the test and uh, sadly, no, I might not be alone, but it's sad to say that sometimes you can't share your personal work and feelings with others. When I'm outside filming with my telescope, because some people were asking me, I'd love to see what you see through your telescope. No, you wouldn't because uh, it's just what the eye sees. We're looking with a regular tele uh, camera uh, well, not a regular camera at all. It's a hell of a good camera, but we're looking at just still a camera. So the size of the moon, and this is my battery pack, to be able to charge it up for um, a couple of hours and to do what I have to do with it. But, you know, some people want to see what it looks like when I'm outside filming. It doesn't look like much. The magic is done inside. So when you guys look at my footage, I show you everything you need to see. So usually stars, I don't get the surface of them. So I assume that this wasn't a star. Very, very dark object. And I brought up the light, of course, and worked on this uh, two years ago at the beginning. What made me look on the moon, I found this before even viewing the surface of the moon ever. And this is the surface of probably the only biggest celestial object I've ever seen that was, we'll say, Draco constellation. Isn't it beautiful? To be able to see a surface of another celestial object aside from um, the moon, it's like, wow, it's never been seen, right? All these things are hidden to the public. And I assume there are some people doing these tests, but sadly, it costs so much for the equipment. So obviously, if not just anyone that's able to you know, to get a chance to be able to see these things, these celestial objects. This was not done with a telescope. This was done, uh, this is a photo, by the way. We're not, we're not looking through a telescope right now and filming live on the surface of an unknown celestial object or planet. We are looking at a beautiful photo, uh, the way I've always showed and the way I started showing the astro, my astrophotography in this incredible, beautiful way like three-dimensional. It's not like three-dimensional. We're looking at a three-dimensional view of this. Like many uh, thought at the beginning that it was a process um, that involved filming a screen. Well, it's not the screen that you guys think is the TV. That's the thing. It's a processing. But either way, what do you guys think of the surface of this beautiful celestial object and this is the other end of the planet so you could really see or maybe even say that this object would have heated up a lot right it's like all um burnt and all these lines going through it probably some type of um obviously maybe lava flow could have formed all this i don't know but you look on these objects or planetoids whatever and you find uh, some objects that are symmetrical at times and not so much on this one. I just like the constructed light objects. See the purple? Well, this is all lined up all over the structure, uh, uh, sorry, all over the surface of this beautiful alien surface, we could say, right? Because it's in the constellation of Draco. Uh, pretty deep into it too, and it was a dark object, but it, it was pretty big. I was able to get the surface not been able to do this many a times and i said i'm sure all of you will pro uh, enjoy seeing this surface it was just so beautiful thanks for the support everyone another one coming up tonight <laughs>